friends. This week we are celebrating Easter. Easter is that time when we remember that Jesus died for us and rose again to be our very best friend. I have a special treasure box that I want to show you. Do you want to know what's inside? Let me hear you say that you do. Wow, you seem so excited. I'm excited to show you too. Let's open it up. Can you see? Let me tell you about these things. I see something that looks like something you might find in a barn. Can you see it? Do you know what it is? It's straw. That's right. This straw reminds me of a baby that was born a long time ago that the Bible says was going to be a king when he grew up. Do you know who that is? His name is Jesus. That's right. Let me show you what else is in my box. Oh, do you have any guesses of what this might be? Let me tell you. We learned yesterday that Jesus came into Jerusalem like a king and the people shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Remember that means save us? And what was he riding on? A donkey, that's right. This is some donkey fur. Let me show you another treasure in my box. Do you see what it is? That's right, it's a coin. We buy things with coins, don't we? When Jesus got to Jerusalem, the Jewish leaders there didn't want him to keep teaching. They didn't like what he was saying. And so they paid one of his friends, Judas, to give Jesus up so that they, they could capture him and take him away. Do you see this? Do you know what it is? It's a cup. Jesus and his friends went to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. That was a special meal. And Jesus, while they were eating, he took bread and he took a drink and he shared it with his friends and said, when you eat this bread and you drink this drink, remember the love that I have for you because I will be giving up my body and shedding my blood for you. Look at this treasure. See it? It's a stick. After the Passover meal, Jesus and his friends went to a garden where Jesus prayed. He prayed for his disciples, he prayed for himself, and he prayed for you and me. And while he was there, the soldiers came and they found Jesus and arrested him and took him away. Our next treasure looks like this. It's a little bit tricky. This is a piece of leather. This one makes me feel sad. After the soldiers arrested Jesus, they took him away and they made fun of him. And ugh, here's our next treasure. You see it? It's a little bit tricky. This is a piece of leather and it makes me sad. When the soldiers arrested Jesus, they took him away and they used uh, straps of leather to beat him and hurt him because they didn't believe that he was the king. Remember that we learned that Jesus is king? They didn't believe that. Here's our next piece of treasure. Do you see this pointy thing on this stick? That's called a thorn. The soldiers, they teased Jesus for saying that he was king. And so they made a crown out of pointy twigs and thorns instead of a nice fancy crown that a king would have. And they gave him that crown instead. Do you see this treasure? 
Who knows what that one is? It's a nail, that's right. Well, the soldiers took Jesus away and they put him up on a cross and they used nails to hold him there. And that is where he died. But he did that for you and for me so that we can be friends with God. And while Jesus was on the cross, the soldiers played a game. Do you recognize this? We use it with games, it's called a dice. The soldiers took turns playing a game to win Jesus' clothes. After many hours, Jesus finally died on the cross and the soldiers took him down and they gave him to one of his followers who put him in a tomb. They... <sighs> After many hours, Jesus finally died on the cross and the soldiers took him down and gave him to some of his followers. They wrapped him in some cloths. See our other treasure? And they put him into a tomb. They buried him there. Here's another treasure. Can you see this one? What is that? That's right, it's a stone. But it's much smaller than the one they used to cover Jesus' tomb. We have good news, though. On the third day after Jesus died, in the morning, his friends went to visit the tomb, and they found the stone had been moved away from the opening of the tomb, and Jesus wasn't there. Jesus was alive. He had done just as he had promised. He had died for us, but he had come back to life so that we could be his friends forever. That's why our last treasure is our empty box. Just like this box has nothing in it, the tomb did not have Jesus in it anymore. He had come alive. He had died for us, but as he promised, he came back to life to be our friend forever. I hope you have fun playing this game at home, whether you make a box or you put the items in some Easter eggs and play this every day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.